Good morning, good morning, everybody. Today we have finally a small outing. It is Zane's dad's birthday, so we're going to like a little brunch and we are about to head out the door, but I first wanted to show you a little outfit of the day because we're doing something special today. I am finally breaking in these boots. I got these from Boohoo so, so long ago and I freaking love them. I just have yet to style them, but it's actually a rainy, pretty chilly day today. We've had like 90 degree weather, so it was just like, I wasn't gonna wear them. Plus, not really going anywhere. Rona is here. <laughs> but finally, it's rainy. It's kind of cold. So I just have this layer on in case I get hot. I just have like a small little shirt. These pants and this shirt is from Forever 21. Super old though. These pants never do me wrong. They were actually really long and I cut them. But I just love the way that they fit. So anyways, yeah. These are like wannabe docks from Boohoo. They're literally like $25, I think. Something ridiculous. And then this cardigan's from Urban Outfitters. And I finally got to do my hair today. I got ready. I'm feeling good. Ready to get out of the house. So. So, yeah, that's that for today. We are going to our favorite Indian restaurant. They have the best food. I actually had somebody um, comment on my video saying that their sister, cousin, owns a Indian restaurant that she said has the best butter chicken in Huntington. So oh, I told yeah. her, I'm like, we might have to try that out and give you our honest opinion. Anyways, so that's how we're starting our day. Let's go to a brunch. Here, okay. Don't worry, I got my big boots on. Peppers came back. Yes. Oh my god. That's not good. Yuck. Oh. <sighs> I watch you as you drive. Do you know I'm looking? And I can't help but smile. Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on I put my feet up And we just sing along And I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment Okay, you guys, food was absolutely amazing. We are now home. I was just hanging out with Bailey Boo, and now she's hearing the crinkling and wants to go down. <laughs> We just went out to lunch for Zane's dad's birthday, and now um, my dad's birthday has passed, but we didn't get the chance to give him some presents from Zane that had come in the mail, so we're gonna stop over at my parents' for a little bit and give him those presents. Zane got him a um, hard drive and a little like adapter for his laptop. And then we have a few little errands that we want to run, but figured we'd stop by them. And we are starting to film for DIY Dad this week, so get excited. We were gonna do it today, but it is pouring rain outside, so that didn't happen. But I think tomorrow my dad and I are going to um, start, I'm going to start teaching him and stuff. I'll take you guys along for the ride. It'll be fun. So get excited for that. Thank you guys, by the way, for supporting him, even though he has literally not one video up yet. But he already has over 4,000 subscribers. So that makes him so happy. He's so excited. He bought his tripod and all his equipment else like that he needed besides what we got him. So I'm excited. Sorry, babies. We'll be back. I promise. I love you. Have the best time ever. Don't cause a ruckus. Make sure you poop in the box. Oh my god. Is what? it oh. Yo, yo, yo. What's the matter? Is it raining? Oh, just a little bit. Jack's with you. Happy birthday, Al. Happy <laughs> birthday you. present. I'm sorry. This you can plug into what? the laptop and it'll More give you like presents. all the you need. Memory card. Yeah. Memory card today. Yeah, you didn't think about how that would get into your computer? <laughs> I was just gonna because I saw this person on here uh -huh. had the port on the side of the laptop. Yeah. I, I just bought a 64, I guess. Oh, perfect. And then That's I what I got another one coming from Amazon, too. Oh, good. We go into right. Target, right? And he go, I go, should I get a cart? And he goes, no, we're just right. going to get the SD card. I go, no. You always need a cart when you go into Target. Guess what? We bought a toilet bowl. <gasps> we need a new toilet bowl. And I, I need a hole. I should have recorded the toilet bowl. I need a installed. <laughs> yeah. And we bought wow. towels. <laughs> now I gotta take it back off and do it again. I need DIY dad haul from Target. More? You're so spoiled. <laughs> What's this? Oh, storage thing? Two terabytes. So that's so that when you edit, you can keep all your footage like on that and stay really organized. Yeah. I keep all my raw footage and all my final videos on hard drives. On one of these. Yeah. Because you know what? You'll see uh, it's footage fill up. is so big file yeah. wise. You'll film a few videos and your laptop will really? be maxed out already. Really? Yeah. yeah. So you need to have that extra to store everything. Oh. Yay! I have one of these, but I'm small one. No, you need one just for filming. And just for this. Yeah. What are you hanging in the garage, eh? I love you. I miss you. 
I miss you. Actually, tomorrow. Nah. Okay, you okay. can. <laughs> Be you. careful, all right? Thank you again. Have a good one. <laughs> we'll use it all up tomorrow. We should have brought a hood. Don't spend too much money at Target. Uh huh. Yeah, sure. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm just getting baby bells. <laughs> Okay, everyone, we just left my parents. My dad loved his presents. He's so excited to start YouTube. So we're I'm definitely. Excited. I know, Zane is so excited too. So cute. You're so cute. You make him so excited. Yeah. Tomorrow we're going to film his first video. So if you're not familiar, DIY dad, he builds shit. So we couldn't do it in the. I can't curse. I'm going to have to start beeping out my curses. You can't curse? I don't think so. I thought occasionally you can. I can't just be like. You know that's um that guy that's Big Nick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now he turned into a rapper or something. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um yeah, he's really excited about it. What I was saying is we have to like build stuff outside, so we couldn't do it in the rain today. But anyways, it worked out fine because one of my plans today was I wanna start journaling. I I'm sure a lot of you too, um, throughout this whole quarantine pandemic. Just a lot of overthinking, some anxiety, and it's just a really good thing to get your thoughts out. And I think I resonate a lot, Zane is electronic, but I resonate a lot with paper and pen to just word vomit and get things out of my head. Yeah. And kind of just feel like, instead of cycling through thoughts and thoughts and thoughts every day, just to like write things down. Just I wanna, clear your head. Yeah, and I wanna write down like maybe I'll start with like, three to five things that I'm grateful for every day. I don't want to have too much structure. I watched a lot of YouTube videos on this. I feel like I'm going to be passionate about it. But um, I also asked you guys on Instagram for your insights. If you journal and have any insight, please leave it down below. But a lot of people say to not have too much structure and not put pressure on yourself to do it every single day and not have like a theme, just like word vomit onto a piece of paper. And I was telling Zane too, like if I want to just draw a circle with a word in it one day and that's how I want to express myself in the journal, then that's what I'm going to do. A little Venn diagram vibes? Yeah, or like if I want to do bullet points or if I want to write in paragraphs or if I want to write what I'm sad about, if I want to write what, I, what I'm happy about or if I just want to write I love my cats and that's it for the day, then that's what I'm going to write. So yeah. I think it'll just be a really good way to just get things out of my head and feel a little more like focused. Yeah, I think it's a great way to handle your anxiety. Mm -hmm. Just yeah, basically I've had a lot of anxiety lately. Getting all of the craziness in your head down on a piece of paper. And then mm -hmm. even when you look at it, you could be like... Yeah, and I can go back and reflect and be like, look how much better I got. Yeah, or even look at it and be like, wait, what am I even worried about? Or look at it and be like, oh, this is a problem. I need to address this. Does that not like happen that. between us all the time? I'm like so... Yeah. Overwhelmed. Yeah, let's we'll get like crazy headed. And then I'm like, all right, break it down. What's going on? And then when she breaks it down, it's like... Huh. It's not even that big of an issue. Mm -hmm. Sometimes what happens is your mind just goes so fast and it creates more problems without you even knowing it. So yeah, I think journaling will help you a lot. I agree. I'm actually really excited yeah. about it, which is why we're even here at Target right now yeah. to get a new one. Because we have so many stupid notebooks laying around that we write random things in. No, you want it to be cool. Yeah, I want it to be inspired and want to pick up the book and not feel like, oh, don't God, make sure <laughs> I write in my journal tonight. I think I'm going to do it nightly. So that way it's like at the end of the day, I can write down my thoughts, but... I don't it might even it. help you make uh sorry it might help you sleep better too writing down your thoughts before bed and i might Seriously. have better dreams sleep better you don't remember them anyway that's true <laughs> but sleep a little less restless you know yeah um but yeah i wanted to get a brand new notebook that inspired me i want to get really nice pens because you know writing with a nice pen is so satisfying that, that kid in class Sorry. are you tired <laughs> i don't know why i'm the only all of a sudden that kid in class that like always had like the really nice pens and like you wanted to borrow from them yeah, like yeah, i yeah. want to be that kid so um and obviously we're going to target and i think we need a few little grocery items and we'll look around and i want to get something like just a cute little journal to write in what Oh, I was going to say, I wanted to see if they have the white strips here instead of Amazon. Perfect. But they're probably more expensive here, but I'll see. Yeah, if you guys have any white teeth whitening tips, Zane and I want to start whitening our teeth. And now I don't want to smile. <laughs> okay. I want to make them like pearly white. I want people to see, like when I smile, they're like, damn. Like, wow, how did you get your teeth so white? I was watching, well not watching, I was looking at Amazon reviews of Colgate white strips. And some of people's before and afters, I'm like, what? Those could Insane. be, those could be like doctored though. No. I guess, but like, who would do that? Who would doctor an image no, just for no. an Amazon review? I know, yeah. No, Colgate white strips are like famous, so. Yeah. Work. I don't know. It's worth trying. I actually, I used it once before. I've had them, remember? Yes. I wasn't consistent with the treatment, but even mm -hmm. the ones that I did, like it helped for sure. Yeah. So. I think those taste so nasty though, but it's worth it. So like, as long as you get good Try results. It that it's worth it, the taste. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I don't know, I'm these excited. random spontaneous trips make me want to buy like pointless shit. Me too. Like, I, I, I have go a get, feeling like, this is gonna be a bad one right I now. I wanna go get like an energy drink. 
because I don't like have those. I mean, I have my pre-workout, but I don't this ever really fun. have like, or like um, those Starbucks like Frappuccino things in the bottom. Is there a Starbucks in this one? There probably is. Should Maybe. We, we already ate bad today. Should we treat ourselves to a little Starbucks? I would just get um. What did I get? Oh, the nitro cold brew. That's my favorite thing. I That's not really good. Down for a Starbucks. For the Starbucks. Yeah. Mrs. Buck. I'm excited. I feel like I'm taking a step to like better my mental health. Yeah, super important. Mm -hmm. I agree. And I think I truly think that this is gonna be something that I like really resonate with. Yeah, so that's excited. exciting. I know. I'm I'm excited to find. I hope they have like cute notebooks. I don't see why they wouldn't. Some people like. Why did you size, choose Target? Because they have cute like stationary stuff. Okay. Yeah, and like back to school season, like they'll have a lot of stuff. Oh shit! Yeah. And I just love August. it here. I just it just makes me feel happy here. You know, get out of the house. And the last time I went to Walmart, that was an experience. So I was like, Target will do. Yeah. Okay. Let's get the show on the road. Oh, let's, mask. Let's go into Target, hey. I wonder if they have cute masks here. I want to get another one. This is going to be so nice in the winter, huh? When it's freezing. Yeah. Keep you nice and warm. <laughs> I should have changed into sweatpants. <sighs> Zane didn't let me. He's like, you always say we have nowhere to go for you to wear nice clothes. Yeah. Now you're finally wearing them and you want to take them off. She always tells me. She's like, Zane, I want to go somewhere. I want to dress cute. And then today she does. And she's like, I want to go back to my sweatpants. I'm like, no. I just like being comfy. I can dress cute and be comfy. I uh, be comfy still. Also, like, I'm kidding. Obviously, I know. She could no, change. I know. But it's you, satire. You did inspire me to keep my jeans on, so we're here. It's inspire. okay. Inspire. Yes, that's a better word. <laughs> I'm gonna need a cart today. Oh, these are wet from outside. I like to put my purse down too. Okay, ready. Oh no, I know we have. I just want Look, more. Zane's Zane's getting the first thing that's not on the list. Documenting it. He's getting tin foil. Go ahead, put it in the cart. He was like, We need a cart? I'm in for a wild ride. <laughs> like, it's been a while since we've been to the store together, so it's your duty as a boyfriend, okay? Very true. Look, we're not gonna be using this stuff for a while. <laughs> oh, the travel stuff. Yeah. <laughs> On to item number two. <laughs> Zane's getting sucked in the target. Look, plantar fasciitis. That's what you have, baby. I know, but I don't think that'll work. No? I've tried orthotics before, but not like for plantar fasciitis. Yeah, they just branded that way, probably. I don't know. I also just need to fix the problem. Right, that says it just immediate it pain, pain relief. But yeah. I don't struggle with pain that much. I just need to fix it. Are you feeling better from that? No. No? <laughs> I just have to stretch my problem. Mm -hmm. Can someone explain to me why whitening strips are locked up in a case? Look, Target brand, $15.99. Whitening strips. What? Oh, there's one out. <laughs> Got lucky. Why are they locked up? That is so weird. Maybe people steal them because they're expensive. Maybe that's why. I think that's the sign. You think so? That those were sitting out? I mean, they're not open. No, they're not opened. What's the difference between all of them though? Those are 25 bucks. These are the ones I was looking at yesterday. Oh my God, and they were sitting out of the box saying, Wait, hold on. <laughs> you need to get them. <laughs> Here we go. Look at all the cute notebooks. I was so excited. I need one that sparks joy. Do I want a smaller one? Probably, right? So I don't feel pressured to fill up the page. That, and then if you were to like go somewhere. I could bring it, like this. I know with COVID, it's kind of weird, but even like just walking around the house with it, mm -hmm. it's better, I feel like. Mm -hmm. I like that. Good things take time. That's kind of cute. Better days are coming. They're called Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> See, these have like days in them, like a planner. I don't want that. I want just a plain notebook the, the thoughtful journal oh look see i don't think i want to get something that's themed like this because then i'll feel pressured to fill everything in yeah definitely i just want like keep it blank yeah i agree i feel like i'll feel like it's a chore what if i did just like a basic notebook like this i was actually going to suggest that but but wait, what which one are moleskin this is notebook? a carnet pro you want a ruled notebook oh oh my god they're so expensive good quality maybe i think it's hardcover don't you? oh yeah, yeah hardcover. it is hardcover i mean this is nice nice and clean yeah that is nice it's something that i'll look at forever unless it's really depressing then i'm not gonna want to look back at it. <laughs> just kidding you how about a brown if you don't want to get um or brown i think brown's kind of ugly too <laughs> yeah i kind of like the black you know me okay here's the journal that i decided to go with it's cute and then now one of the important parts that i saw on youtube videos is getting really nice pens so it like inspires you to write so wow there's so many choices it's actually good that it's school season get all the choices something cool like this metal body something cool like that yeah look how fancy these are those are fancy but do they write cool you know what i mean soft touch mm -hmm. Metal body, one millimeter. Don't know what any of that means. But, but it sounds cool. <laughs> packaging size. Let me see what that girl had on Is her video. Yeah, it's only eight bucks. Yeah. 
I mean, that's still a lot for a pen. But yeah, but... You know there's some people that spend like 150 bucks on a pen? No. Yeah. That's a thing? Yeah, but you know what their logic is? What? I'll never lose that pen. That's true. Okay, I just looked back on the video of that girl that I watched that loves journaling. She made a whole video about it, and these are the pens that she uses. So, I'm gonna try these out. Smooth writing. Cute, look at my little setup, love it. I thought we were about to leave the store with pumpkin only a few cheese. things. And then I saw pumpkin cheesecake, soft baked cookies. Oh, we're getting 130 calories per one cookie. I will save room for that cookie. Bet I will. Are we stopping at the box <gasps> or no? Box is closed. We can just drink box. Oh, I think you want you want to get your get your energy drink. Either Red Bull or the box. Get your Red Bull. Seriously? Yeah. Oh, I love that pumpkin stuff is coming back. It makes me a happy girl. Look at us though, you guys. Paper towels, cookies, tums, crest strips, crest whitening toothpaste. What else do we get? Aluminum foil, and then my planner, pens, and Zane's getting a Red Bull. That's it. Love Red Bull, and I'm proud of us. It. Yeah, you love Red Bull. You deserve it. We were gonna go to Starbucks, but we realized, like, what are we gonna do? Pull down our mask and then drink it, and then we realized it was closed, and that's probably why, because people want to drink it while they're walking around the store. So we didn't get Starbies. So we treat ourselves to cookies and Red Bull. First of all, we only got one bag, so I'm proud of us. We are very so proud. I'm, well, I think it's I'm you. So proud of you. Thanks. If I was by myself, I'd still be walking around there. <laughs> but look how cool it looks back here. I don't know how we're supposed to clean off those leaves, but we're gonna have to figure that out. But it looks so cool back here when it's like raining. It looks like um, I leave that down on purpose, baby, so that it doesn't fall and crack. Yeah. Um, like a tropical rainforest. Yeah, that's exactly what it looks like. Like a tropical forest. So cool. Look at my basil. Look how much tomatoes are growing. I know. We actually have to pick the red ones. I thought that um, an insect ate one, but people were saying that just means it's ready. Oh. Like it was breaking. All the red ones I think we have to pick. But yeah, check it out. The peppers are gonna be able to be used soon. Look at that one. <gasps> Look, it's like almost a full grown pepper. What? That's, That's so crazy. Cool. Babies? Hi! You want dinner? Bailey girl! <laughs> Hi! Where have you been all day? Bailey? You miss us? Bella said, feed me right Feed me immediately. Bailey girl? Hi! Hi, I love you. You guys, we figured out this morning, well, I don't know if Zane has discovered it, but this morning we figured out that she talks back just like Bailey, just like Bella and Benji do. I'm like, Bailey, she's like, meow. I'm like, what do you want? Meow. And she replies, just like our other cats, they talk back. Bella's following you. <laughs> Her little trot behind oh, so you. I knew I cleaned the bowls. I cleaned those. Huh, nice try. <laughs> well, regardless, I'm like, I know. I know we've had clean bowls. Yeah, yeah. Badge? I love when she yawns. Don't you love when she yawns? Yes. She's getting so big. What the heck? Look at her. Nah, she half the smuggums. size of Bella. My little schmuggums. Oh, my little puppy. Oh, there he is. Where is he? Benji! Black Panther. Look at all three of them. Oh, stretches. My God, I love you guys. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. Be nice. <laughs> Look at all three of them patiently waiting. Hi, Benj. Look how freaking big Bailey's getting. Oh my god. Bailey, you know, I never thought we'd have a short haired cat, but I'll make you an exception because I kind of love you. <laughs> she's like, you better. <laughs> god, she's so sweet. They're all so sweet. I love all of them. Bella, be nice. That's common. <laughs> They're open everyone's food. <laughs> it's a process over there. <laughs> Alright, can you just. Look at them. Got it. You right, got it. On. Go ahead, cat dad. You got all three. Cat dad. <laughs> Bench. There he goes. Oh my God. Look, she's stretching on the way. Oh, I love them so much. How am I going to love a child even more? I just can't imagine it. Do you guys think of that or am I crazy? I'm like, damn, I love my cats. My hair has turned into frizz with this rain weather. I love my cats so much, I can't even fathom how much I'm gonna love a human that Zane and I both created. And it's like half of us. I cannot even fathom the love I'm gonna have for a child, honestly, because my cats, I just, I would take a bullet for them. I love those damn cats. Okay, ladies and gents, comfy pants are on, finally. It's my time to shine. <laughs> I am so excited to try these cookies, but I'm gonna hold off because it is 9.30 p.m. and the last thing that I ate was literally at brunch. No snacks, no nothing. So I'm really hungry, as you can imagine. We literally ate brunch at, or lunch. I guess you could call it lunch because it was like 1.30, 2 o'clock-ish. So I'm really hungry and I purposely took out some fish, some tilapia tonight, because it's like 
you know, healthier. I knew we weren't gonna eat the best today, so. We're gonna make some of this. What are we gonna make on the side though? Let's not get ahead of myself, okay. I made a Hello Fresh tilapia that was so freaking good, and it used like this sauce on top, but they definitely went a little crazy, so, oh, these are almost going bad, but I'm gonna use what's good of the scallions, and we're gonna use some soy sauce. It's a great angle. And then probably a little bit of vegetable oil, and that's gonna be like a sauce for my tilapia. <gasps> drop the freaking cat food got it though don't worry and then on the side i actually still have some leftover rice from when i made that hello fresh tilapia which has like ginger and like spices in it and it goes really good with like the soy sauce flavor so i'm gonna have some of that on the side zane is with his family right now we were just hanging out with them for a little while his little sister's phone is messing up so he's been trying to mess with that so i think i'm gonna make him just like a random something we have like some chicken sausage just kind of like a random dinner night of like leftovers and stuff that we have and that is that nothing too exciting today but let's do it up i'm just gonna heat a pan on medium heat Hi. I honestly, where's the scissors? I honestly did not chow down at the lunch as much as I thought I was going to, but I'm surprised that it held me over for this long. Like it's been hours and I usually eat every few hours, but that just goes to show when I'm like out and about and like distracted, I don't think about food as much. Like when I'm sitting home, I eat too much. I am always just thinking about what I'm gonna eat next, but if I get out of the house, oh my God, I like barely think about it. It's amazing. I wanna make two of them just because It'll fill me up more, you know? And if there's leftovers, I just heat it up in the air fryer the next day. Bomb. We're throwing some salt and pepper on each side. And that's literally it for seasoning, just salt and pepper. And then I'm just gonna cook it in a little bit of olive oil. And this is like the simplest, yummiest tilapia. And then once you top it with like soy sauce and scallions, it's really, really good. And I use about a teaspoon of olive oil. I just think that a decent amount of oil, like make sure you cover the bottom of the pan of the pan it gives it a nice like crisp and then like four and a half minutes on each side of the fish on like a medium and you're good to go all right while that's going i'm gonna warm up some of this rice in the microwave i guess i'm gonna eat all of it that's a lot of rice okay we're not gonna eat all of it that's good okay when i heat up leftover rice that has been in the fridge obviously it gets like that crunchy not fun texture i go ahead and soak a paper towel in water and just squeeze it out a little bit so it's not like dripping but you lay that over it so that way when it's microwaving it gets some moisture in it you know oh why did you stick you suck you were not supposed to stick i think i have the heat a little too high damn it I don't know why that happened. It didn't happen last time. I actually had it a little over medium. I think that's why. It was too high. Okay, it's fine. We scrape it off and we're all good. Extra flavorful. Whatever. These are the type of dinners that I usually don't film for you guys. I only film the cool ones. When I'm just making quick little dinners, I usually don't show you. Um, we mess up sometimes when we wing stuff. All right, here is la rice. Nice and... Steamy, fluff it up with a fork. Now the sauce that I made in the HelloFresh had like sesame oil and what else? I think I have the thing here still. Oh yeah, this is what it looked like last time I made it. It was really good. <laughs> it was a scallion pesto. So it's scallion, sesame oil, sesame seeds, olive oil, ginger, sugar, lime, sriracha. It was like a whole mixture, but I'm just gonna simplify it and we're just gonna do like scallions and some soy sauce on top. Honestly, I'm okay with that. What a terrible fail. This came out so perfect the last like three times I made it. Oh my God, that is so depressing. That is not even thumbnail worthy. How could I? Actually, it looks pretty good still. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna take some of these green onions that are gonna go bad, but we're gonna use the good parts. Literally going in with scissors all over on the rice. Tilapia. I can't believe I messed it up this bad. I am disappointed. You guys are not supposed to be seeing me like this. Scallions just look so much fancier if you cut them at an angle. So for Zane, I have a Italian chicken sausage in the air fryer. And then I'm heating up, if you guys watched my last vlog, I meal prepped a bunch of potatoes. So I'm just heating those up in a skillet with a little bit of olive oil. And then I'm also gonna do two fried eggs and I'm gonna chop up the sausage and do like a potato sausage bowl with two fried eggs on top. Yummy yums. Okay, and I'm gonna top with a little bit of less sodium soy sauce. Just like that. Very bland looking plate, not much color. <laughs> if I cooked the tilapia right, it would've been nice and brown and yummy. Okay, I'm sure it'll still taste great. 
So here's the potatoes. I've been eating them so much for like breakfast. They are so good with eggs this morning. I did it with like scallions and sour cream and eggs and turkey. It was so good. But just heat them up in a pan with some olive oil or in the air fryer. Such a good thing to have meal prep. And we still have so much left. So I've been trying to get rid of them a little bit, little by little. Oh, sorry, Bailey. Sorry. Did I scare you? Take a picture of it anyway. You know what? The scallions really stepped up the game. It looks nice and fancy. There you have it. Let's give it a try. And then we're gonna put Zine's bowl together. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe I just messed up that bad. I'm so embarrassed. It's okay. Mmm. It's still really good. <laughs> the only thing is some bites I'm gonna be missing that like crunchy outside, but that's okay. Mmm. That actually came out really good. Not gonna lie. And the rice. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Zane's. Oh, tell me those don't look so good. Okay. Now, really quick, just make these. Oh my god, that was a terrible egg crack. What is with me today? We're gonna do salt and pepper on those bad. Hello? Salt and pepper on those baddies. Oh my god, look at these freaking potatoes. I gotta try one. Mmm! Mm hmm? What's up, baby? I made you food. Do you wanna come get it and bring it up or? Um. Yeah, sure. Okay. All right, I'll leave you back. Okay, I love you. Wow, his food smells good. Why does everybody else's food always smell better than your own? Wow, I'm really just doing great here. Trying to do this quickly. Aren't I so nice, you guys, making him dinner? What a good girlfriend. You okay? You annoyed? Yeah, I'm trying so hard to fix this and I can't. Aww. So like, right when I think I fixed it, I didn't. Mm -hmm. And you're not gonna leave it till it's done, huh? Yeah, I absolutely have to, but yeah, I'm like trying a few things right now. Mm -hmm. Made you a bowl. Yeah, you're so cute. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> oh my god, it looks amazing. Not bad, right? Yeah, some potatoes, amazing. some sausage. A little protein bowl. Love it. Yeah, it actually is a little protein bowl. Yum. I'm jealous. Give myself some tilapia. Thank you so much. So to you. You're welcome. Here. Just because I know you. <laughs> I don't know, lately you've been salting it perfectly. I'm curious if that's good. <laughs> I just threw some crap together. Some potatoes in there. Oh, it's gonna be so hot. Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, nice delicious dish. Perfection. Mm-hmm. Thanks, babe. Thank Enjoy. You so You're welcome. I'm trying to fix this. Okay. <laughs> Not gonna lie to you guys, that tilapia was amazing. I thoroughly enjoyed it. So even though I messed it all up, Highly recommend, very simple combo, but it's yummy. The real tester right here is. Oh yes. Oh, that smells so good. Oh my God, there's white chocolate chunks in it. Should I heat it up in the microwave or just eat it? We should just eat it. This is my motto. <laughs> it's on the back of here. If you're going to have a cookie, have a cookie, you know, like a good one. Here's what she looks like. Oh, I love me some good pumpkin flavored things. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Pumpkin flavored things to me is like, say it's like a sugar cookie, but with like spice, you know? Some flavor, exactly what this tastes like. This is very, very delicious. Very subtle too. I like pumpkin spice, but not when it's like too overdone. It can taste very artificial, but this is done right. Get ready for fall season because we're gonna make lots of pumpkin things. I'm excited. Mmm. A really long time ago on my channel, I made these pumpkin cheesecake bites that had like white chocolate on them. They were to die for. I'm definitely wanna make the what? I'm definitely gonna wanna make those again. Also, these are so soft, these would be really good heated up in the microwave. It's Sunday, lazy rainy day. Enjoy some food that you wouldn't normally eat day. Zane and I actually both want to start on Sundays, like treating it as like um just a relaxing day. Like take the day off and just like chill out because we don't really do that for ourselves. Like we work from home, so we work really a little bit every day. We I'm having another one by the way. No guilt here. We work from home, so we really just like work every day and don't even think about it because we just love what we do. But last Sunday we just sat in bed and I edited, but it still felt like a day off to just like not have any major worries or responsibilities and just do things that we genuinely enjoy doing so unless we have something specific on a sunday we're gonna make sundays a chill day these are the exact consistency of a chips ahoy like a chewy chips ahoy look at this baby let me just tell you about this baby look at her look at her look at her 
Ready? Meow. No, meow. You're just excited to come to mama? Oh, I just get purrs. You guys, I took the cutest picture with her and I posted it on my Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, at Alyssa Rose. And if you're not following the cats, at Bella, Benji, and Bailey. Well, no, it's just Bella, Benji, Bailey. There's no and. But I post on their Instagram every day and they're adorable. So if you want to keep up. Look at her. Just look at her. She's just chilling. She's just resting her head in my hand. Oh, I just love you. I could stop the time, don't you know that I would? Cause I'm just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? Forever. 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 I watch you as you sleep. You don't know I'm looking. With you, everything's complete. Do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite song on just to wake you up. When I dance around, I can't help but feeling just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Alrighty. It is so amazing how much you can get done when you just like power through something. I didn't want to wash the dishes. I was like, I'll wait till tomorrow or have Zane do them tomorrow. And I was like, you know what? It takes so short to just wash a few dishes. So I got it done. It feels so good. And now I'm going to get into some PJs, get into bed. I'm kind of tired to be honest, but I think I want to start my journal because I just have some thoughts that I want to get down and that's the point of it. And I'm just excited to like start the first page, you know, and just get it going so i showed you guys the one that i got but just a simple little notebook leatherette journal notebook i honestly don't even know how much this was but i'll try and find it on target if you guys are interested and i'll link it and then the pens that i got i'm excited to try those out so i'm gonna relax Zane and i are just gonna chill in bed i also the other night went ahead and organized this drawer okay it kind of looks a little bit messy but it's pretty organized i took all of these products that i got that patchology sent me i've been L I can't even speak English today. I've been loving their products. The eye patches just make me feel so nice at night. They're so refreshing. And then I have like a ton of face masks. Like tell me this isn't just so satisfying right here. So I'm going to do some self-care. Zane will probably do a mask with me as well. And we're just ready to relax. Zane just took out the garbage, did the cat litter. Now you can go poopy all fresh and clean. Got the vacuum, robot vacuum going. Okay, so with all that being said, that is gonna do it for me today. It's so weird to see myself with my hair down and like styled, it's been a while. It feels really nice. <laughs> I feel like I somehow got it to look thicker and fuller than it is today too, pretty proud. Okay, anyways, today's notification shout out goes to Manda Scarrow. She said, notification squad, love being a part of the family. Who is your top five favorite YouTubers to watch that you can recommend for us to watch? So I thought this is a really good question because I like to hear what other people watch on YouTube or who people are liking. So I gathered five that are kind of like new and people that I don't really talk about, like people that you guys don't already know that I watch. I didn't want to just say like obvious ones that you guys know what I watch. So here's some relatively um newer ones that i've talked about briefly but i've never really said like yes i love these channels but these are ones that i've kind of really fell in love with throughout the last few months because of quarantine like i just found a lot of new people that i like and there's so much more to this list but these are people that i kind of watch like every time they upload i watch so my number one favorite as of recently would be lauren geraldo i love her content i really love couple content obviously because it's relatable and she just moved to a beautiful house with her boyfriend in arizona and she does like fashion content lifestyle vlogs just all the content that i love and i just love her personality there's something about her videos that i feel when i'm finished watching her i feel very inspired and i feel just happy overall which is like the vibe that i hope i give off really really love her content next is erin gilfoy she um is friends with like the david dobrik crew but her content is so completely opposite it's very chill again just her and her fiance i believe um in her little apartment and she does daily normal things she talks about real life stuff shows her emotions really relatable content next one is taylor king that is alicia marie's 
friend, roommate. Um, I just started recently watching her, but I really enjoy her vlogs. Her editing is cool and um, yeah, really relatable also. Another one is Brooke Michio. I started watching her a few months ago and she's actually from Long Island, which is awesome. She just moved to New York City in a little studio apartment and her little moving vlogs are fun. Again, just very similar kind of content to mine. Shows you what she buys, cooks, you know, rants about random stuff, has a podcast and stuff like that. And she's similar in age. And I just think it's really cool to see her like Long Island content because it's so close to home. And then the last one is complete opposite of all of those, Jack Brinkman. Um, he makes videos with his girlfriend and it's very quick, kind of witty, funny content and just like really easy to listen to and will make you laugh and smile. Um, and it's more like kind of, not not a skit, but more like very jokish and quick edits rather than like a lifestyle vlog. So if you're looking for that, he's pretty funny. I would love to hear any YouTubers that you guys think that I would like. If there's any ones that are like similar to my content, like very lifestyle, cooking, cleaning, you know, just like all the home stuff, fashion, home decor. If you know of anybody that I would like, please let me know because I'm always down for some new YouTubers. But thank you so much, Amanda, for your comment. I really liked that one. That one was interesting. So I hope you guys enjoyed if anybody else would like a notification shout out, go ahead and comment down below letting me know that you have my notifications turned on and you might be in my next video. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye guys. Forever, forever, I watch you as you drive. Do you know I'm looking?